Hey, what's up? So I just finished this table and I need to do a little routing around the edges and I want to check out this Ryobi cordless router since I already have a bunch of their batteries and I want to see if it's any good and worth keeping in the shop. So I'm going to unbox it, use it on this project, do a little review and see if it's worth keeping. So check it out on this episode of Field Treasure Designs. All right, let's unbox this bad boy. So this is pretty straightforward. There's the tool, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it also comes with one tightening wrench for the collet. So yeah, that's it, man. So my first impression is it does feel really good in the hand. It feels well built and sturdy. I really do like the vibe here. The adjustment is intuitive. It's a nice clip and then a press down button to go up and down. And then it has a micro adjustment there with a little spinning wheel. So yeah, so far it's, it's a nice vibe. It seems like you adjust it kind of generally and then you can spin the wheel there at the top and micro tune it. So yeah, that's kind of nice. The on off button is big and easy to use. So I like that. And then when you set it down, it doesn't tip. Now I'm gonna grab a battery and see how that affects it. I click it in and I thought that it might make the top a little imbalanced, but it stays really balanced in my hand. So that's kind of cool. I grabbed a router bit. It's the one fourth inch size for the one fourth inch collet. And I thought it was loose, but it actually is fairly tight. And so I raised up the housing and then realized it has the auto lock switch that I'm pressing there and it's still tight. You, you rotate it until that lock snaps into place, holding it, and then you can grab your wrench and untighten it. And so it's as simple as that. So now let's turn it on to hear what it sounds like. A couple observations. The LED light is only on one side, so that's kind of interesting. It doesn't vibrate too much in your hand and it feels very stable. And obviously not having a cord is very nice. Next, I grab my Bosch Colt to compare it to. It's also a one quarter inch collet and it's obviously got the cord. So that's a big difference. I need to take off the edge guide, which that is something that's a nice feature. And I'm not sure if the Ryobi has an edge guide. A couple first comparisons. I think the Bosch, you get the lower profile or the skinnier profile, but you have the cord. Whereas the Ryobi, you don't have a cord, but you do have more of a thick profile at the top. But I could get over that to be cordless. In comparison, the adjustment on the Bosch is a little bit more difficult. You have to slide it over and then up, and it only has the one clasp there, so I like the Ryobi better. And then there's just more coverage in terms of non-see-through parts that kind of cast more shadows and reduce visibility, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Okay, it's time to use this thing. So I've been working on a plywood table and I just need a router around all the edges. So this is a perfect application for it. So I do the depth adjustment. I kind of wanted to show you that a little bit. I'm at a little bit of a weird angle trying to allow you to see the action and I'm not really going the right way because you can see that LED light isn't really on the workpiece. So it does need to rotate a little bit. But you'll see me kind of move my camera out of the way here. So this is the first time using it and it feels pretty good, but the this is where the profile of the upper part kind of throws you off. I'm pretty sure in hindsight, I need to have this rotated to have that large opening facing me, but it feels weird with that battery so big to not go the long ways. And then my finger actually gets caught in it here in just a second. Whoo, yikes. But yeah, so I kind of stop and check it out. But again, I think this is where it's interesting that that long nature of the battery makes you kind of have a hard time figuring out how to hold it. Then I grab the Bosch just to kind of compare the use and the features. It obviously has that 
shroud around the one side, which is the same as the Ryobi. The Ryobi just has the clear side. But yeah, I'm basically trying to figure out how to hold it because it's disproportional, if that makes sense, on the top. So then I kind of got my act together and figured it out. But you can see my hands kind of figuring out where do I put them. It, it feels weird to try to turn the router to make the battery long part perpendicular to my cut line, even though I'm pretty sure that's the better way to hold it. You can see that LED light. I need to rotate it and be leading with that light. And I didn't learn that until later. I have to say it was super nice being able to go around the workpiece and not worry about a power cord. After I was done with this section, I checked the battery life and only lost one bar. So not too bad. Next, I needed to route the next part outside and that made the cordless even better. I think by this point I was doing better with my orientation of the router to the workpiece to keep it safe. Man, this is pretty great. Let me take it back to the shop for a final review. All right, so after using it on this project and reviewing it, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's good, not great. So the first thing, obviously Ryobi's still doing the stem batteries. I think that their tools are still really good, even though they've got the stem. They're like the only ones still using it. But as you've seen in my other videos, I've got a few Ryobi batteries and I'm a fan of a lot of their tools. And so you put it in and it feels good. It doesn't off balance the router at all, which I was worried about. It's funny, it feels like a reciprocating saw a recip saw as you grip it and um, yeah so that's it it's still pretty light I feel like I can uh, do the work no problem at all it doesn't quite have the power I didn't feel like it's going to be able to go through hardwoods very easily or go for a long period of time but for me and a lot of my projects plywood softwoods I think it will be just fine obviously it's got the quarter or the, the one quarter inch uh, call it for those router bits it's not the half inch call it for bigger beefier projects things like that the adjustment is really easy, as you saw. I like that. This is metal, not plastic, which is good. And then the clear viz plastic down here is nice to see it. The big thing that I noticed in addition to the power is that this hole can be really, really big and or, or, or can pre, uh, present kind of a danger. As you saw in the video, my finger kind of got uh, almost stuck in there during operation, so not cool. Obviously user error, but that is really big and something to keep in mind. And so the clear viz shield, it definitely gets dusty, so you're not gonna be able to see the work piece very easy, but all in all, for the price, wow. I mean, 60, 70 bucks at the time of this video, I think it's a great value. I think Ryobi's done an awesome job. Micro adjustment there, it feels good in the hand. I love not having a cord to deal with. I can go outside and, and work out there and come back, go wherever I need to. That's awesome. So yeah, that's the Ryobi router. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you've got any questions, write them below and I'll do my best to answer. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.